Hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Casual Coffee with Ken. My name is Ken, and this is a Ken in the Kitchen episode. I'm so glad that uh, you're able to, to be with me today. This is, I'm excited. Today is going to be a fun recipe, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this actually since I found the recipes last week. And as always, I will link to the recipes down below in the description so you can try this at home for yourself. Uh, if you're new to the show, everything that I cook on here, I'm doing for the very first time um, in front of you. <laughs> I don't test these recipes out ahead of time. I just find them and I go, wow, that sounds interesting. And then I try my hand at them live in front of you. I am new to cooking. I just started about six weeks ago, maybe. I mean, seriously trying to learn how to cook because uh, my wife Karina has always cooked all of our meals for us. Uh, she makes delicious food, and so I I was content to let her do that and clean up the kitchen after. That was fine with me. Uh, but now I really want to just step up my game and learn <clears throat> my way around the kitchen and how to actually prepare some delicious meals for her. And it's been a lot of fun. I've really been enjoying this. So if you're new here, uh, I can see your comments in my monitor. So say hi and let me know where in the world you're watching from. Uh, Monday was really exciting for me because I had a, a new viewer from Nairobi and that was fun. Uh, I think her name was Mama B. And yeah, that was great. She came, uh, she was watching from Periscope. So uh, do the usual like and subscribe wherever you are. And uh, let's just go ahead and we'll kind of get into it here. So the, first of all, uh, the dish I'm going to be making today is called shakshuka, and it sounds really, really good. I am very much excited about this. Um, yeah, it, it just, it has everything I like. It's got tomato products in it. It's got eggs, um, has bell pepper, you know, win, win, win all the way around. So real quick here, I'm going to kind of start things while I'm talking here. I've already got my two tablespoons of olive oil in there. And then I'm going to uh, add the chopped bell peppers now. And that's one red bell pepper seeded and diced and then a medium onion. And uh, well, This is a lot of onion. I don't know that I needed this much onion, but that's what it says, so I'm going to put it all in there. And just kind of mix this around. So we've got uh, quite an interesting uh, array of ingredients, I think. At least they are they're fun for, for me. Um, amongst the, the, the various things we're going to be using today for the shakshuka, uh, we've got obviously onions, one medium onion diced. We've got the red bell pepper, uh, four garlic cloves finely chopped, two tablespoons of tomato paste, and then two teaspoons of paprika or paprika however you say it. It's your spice. Say it however you want. Uh, a teaspoon of cumin, a big 20 out, 28 ounce can of whole peel tomatoes, six large eggs, a small bunch of fresh parsley, and then half a cup of crumbled feta. But uh, I am... Uh, I'm not... Uh, the, the feta you don't absolutely have to have. You mean, I mean, you can add it or subtract it as you wish. I happen to like feta cheese. So yeah, that's uh, that's something I really enjoy here. Oh, hi. Hi, Monica. Can't hang out, but looks good. Okay, well, thank you for stopping by anyway. Appreciate it, as, as usual. There's a lot of uh, 
There's a lot of good stuff here, I think. So just letting that cook down a bit. I'll turn up the heat a little bit here. Yeah, when I first saw this, good morning, Sean. Uh, when I first saw this, I, I was all about it because this is exactly what, uh, what food is supposed to be for Ken. Onion, garlic, tomato, everything. <laughs> Good luck with my shaka con. <laughs> I, I wonder how many people even know who shaka con is anymore. So we've got, uh, okay, so we're going to cook these about five minutes, it says, or until the onion becomes translucent. It's still a weird thing to say, translucent onion. So let's go over to the prep area. You can see we've got, uh, here's the rest of our ingredients. Uh, we have the uh, four cloves of garlic, finely chopped, and I'm making it easy on myself today and using just chopped garlic. It comes in the jar. This is from uh, Christopher Ranch. Good, good brand of chopped garlic. Uh, and then we've got the pepper, <clears throat> paprika, two teaspoons of paprika, paprika, whatever. You've got the one teaspoon of cumin, and then the quarter teaspoon of uh, chili powder, got the parsley just a little bit there and then of course eggs these are amazing eggs by the way uh, used to think that it didn't really matter if it was organic or free range or anything but we've really come to appreciate just how delicious those partic that particular brand of eggs are So I'm, I'm waiting for the onions to become translucent, whatever that means. <laughs> I know see-through, but when does an onion actually become see-through? I don't know. So this is going to be a little strange because the idea is that you kind of cook the eggs in the dish, in the sauce. Um, and that's going to be, that's going to be fun, I think. I think it'll be pretty good. Or, you know, it, it might not be. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's going to be not good. It should be, though. Smells amazing in here. So if you're new to cooking and you're, you're watching me for the first time, I would love to know what's your experience been like with the dishes that you've tried? What's your favorite kind of thing to, to cook? Uh, I really enjoy cooking breakfast meals. Uh, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Absolutely, bar none. Um, my favorite thing before the pandemic and the lockdown and quarantine and all that was to go out for breakfast. I loved it. Loved corned beef hash, uh, Benedict. Oh, man, I hope that place is still open. I hope they didn't close down because of this stupid pandemic. I think they're called the Coffee Cup here in Reno, Nevada, and they had an amazing Irish Benedict. It's got the hollandaise sauce and everything, but it's corned beef on top of the poached egg. So, oh, fan, it's so good. It's so, so good. Not a dish to, to eat while you're trying to watch your waistline so you don't have to buy bigger pants, Ken. I can't help it. I really just, I love, love food. All right, I think this might be getting to the point where some of the garlic is starting to look a little see-through. See burger adventure has been quite fun. I will be a burger scholar. You know, there's a lot of noble careers. And uh, burger scholar, I think, fits right in with all of those. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is we've got to add the garlic, the tomato paste, and the spices in. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll uh, scoop in the garlic and the uh, tomato paste. And then all of our spices. Ah, probably shouldn't just plump them down all in one spot, should I? And then just uh, get that mixed together here. Oh, wow, it smells amazing in here. Love this. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be good. There's no way this isn't going to be just amazing. I can't, it can't not be amazing. Got to work out the whole smell-o-vision thing for cooking shows. Have to figure out a way to do this. Oh, this is, look at that. Oh, this looks so good. Shakshuka. What a, a dish made for Kim. Dish made for anyone who loves tomato and garlic and eggs, the way I love tomato, garlics and garlic and eggs. And again, the, if you're new to this, I can see your comments in my monitor, so say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm always interested in where my viewers are. Uh, Monday was a lot of fun. I had a new viewer from Nairobi, and her name was Mama B, and she was really nice, and it was just fun getting to chat with her while I was cooking. And uh, I also, I, uh, I don't test these recipes. I just look for them, and, and if I think they sound interesting, I'll try them, and I'm trying them out um, at the right now for the first time in front of you. And that includes Dirk Kirch from Indiana, watching on Twitch. Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you. I hope I didn't mangle your name too bad. I'm so sorry if I did. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm cooking all these things for the very first time uh, in front of you fine people. All right, I think that's probably in a good spot now. So pour the can of tomatoes with the juice into the pan and break down the tomatoes using a large spoon. Okay. So let's go ahead and add the can of tomatoes. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> look at those tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes are just the perfect fruit. I'm supposed to mush these up apparently and turn the heat up a little bit here. Ah, oh, smush mush. This is a very satisfying to do. <laughs> Silly, I know, but it really is for someone who's new to new to cooking. Getting to smash ingredients together is more fun than I thought it would be. Look at that. Look at the color on this. Oh, this and the you can really smell, I can smell the chili powder, I can smell the cumin. Uh, an optional ingredient on here are red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper flakes. If you're not looking for heat, you of course don't have to add those. But, uh, oh, this smells amazing. Okay, I think I'm getting these kind of broken up here. So yeah, this, is, this has been fun for me. Like I said, Karina has done all the cooking for us really uh, over the 15 plus years we've been married and, you know, I cook every once in a while, but she is the cook in our house and I would just clean up the kitchen. That was her deal. And she makes amazing food. So I've never wanted to, uh, never wanted to cook. You can always smush them up with your hands prior to putting them in. You know, that's a good idea. You're absolutely right. I could do that. 
All right, so that's simmering now. And we will go ahead and, and let that simmer for a while. Eventually, okay, now you're supposed to season the salt and pepper. And then we're going to make wells in the sauce to hold the eggs in. So we'll go ahead and put some salt and pepper on this. And we love salt. We are all about the salt. But if you, you know, if you're watching your sodium intake, you could probably use a salt alternative like Mrs. Dash or, or something along those lines. I don't see why not. And this is just bubbling away. This is really good. I like this. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay. So I'm kind of taking inspiration. I always hit the wrong, I'm hitting the wrong button all over the place. I'm kind of taking inspiration uh, from two different recipes. Um, and so I've combined elements from both of them. I'll link to both of them down below for you so you can go check them out. Um, I, yeah, it's, there's so many recipes for this. Um, and I don't think any of them are bad. And there's a you can there's a wide variety of spices you can put in a shakshuka, which I think roughly translated from Arabic means all over the place. So it's a perfect dish for Ken, who's naturally all over the place. All right, let's go ahead and make our wells with our large spoon. And then I'm gonna attempt to crack eggs into the wells and not break the yolk. That's going to be the fun part. <laughs> Can I do this? Without breaking the yolks. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, I did it. I did it. Look at that. Oh, I got one. I got one. Okay. One more. Come on. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling kind of cocky. I think I might try one more. Put a little well there. All right, I got to do one more. I got to do four. You got to do four. You can't leave three, right? That would be weird. Let's smush that down. Make a little well. Oh, this is so satisfying. I am loving this. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. Only uh, ended up using four eggs on this. And so now... You're supposed to cook for five to eight minutes or until the eggs are done to your liking. And you're supposed to do this covered so the whites set up easier. So, fingers crossed, uh, I'll go ahead and set a timer. for five minutes, six minutes, let's do six, do six. So timer set for six minutes, and then we'll check in on that. So in the meantime, how are you guys? I hope everyone's doing okay. I know it's a weird time, time to be alive right now, but uh, hopefully you're finding lots of diverting programming and, and things to do. Just kind of keep your mind off stuff but uh, yeah this is oh, this has been so much fun I need to get I forgot to get the feta out so let me get the feta mm -hmm. oh man there's all kinds of feta there's the reduced I'm gonna save the reduced fat feta 
because I think Karina needs that actually for one of the things she's making for us. Let's see there. Oh, hi, Cynthia Williams. How are you? Nice to see you over there on Periscope. Hope you're doing good. Um, if you're just joining us, I'm making a dish called shakshuka. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if mine looks anything like that. I don't think it's going to, though. But uh, you never know. You never know. It might. I might get lucky. It's going well so far. So I uh, basically have uh, combined a bunch of different ingredients together. Let me uh, these down here. So this is for recap for Cynthia in case she's just joining us. But uh, you've got the medium onion, you've got red bell pepper, garlic cloves, tomato paste, and paprika. And then you've got uh, what else there? I get the bell pepper. Oh, yeah, the uh, cumin, the can of whole peeled tomatoes. Uh, it says six large eggs. I only ended up using four, and then parsley, and then crumbled feta. And this is based off of two different recipes uh, that I found, and I kind of combined different elements of them together, and I'll post those in the description link on YouTube and Facebook, so you can check that out there, Cynthia, uh, if you're not already following me on social media. I've also included uh, links to that below as well. Let's... Uh, Let's take a look here and see how things are coming along. It looks like the whites are firming up. So you're going for, you know, a poached egg. And I didn't make my wells all that good. It's still a little jiggly. I'm going to let it go for just a, a couple more minutes, I think. I think it's getting closer. It looks like it's getting closer, so this is fun. I have been having so much fun learning how to cook. This is great. It really has been a blast. I'm really, really quite excited with how well things have actually been going so far. All right, we've got about two minutes left, I think, on the eggs, which means I think I'm going to serve this in a bowl. I think it's going to be a little more loose than uh, originally intended. Uh, are, ooh, are you having it with toast? I had planned to. I had actually planned to have it with some crusty bread. I forgot to buy crusty bread. So then I thought, well, I've got sourdough at home. I can just make toast. Um, it was, it hadn't even been opened yet, and it was already moldy. So. I have no bread today. Um, lame. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't make a better shopping list. I didn't remember to get like a baguette or something and uh, that I didn't bother to check the... Uh, I Ooh! You know what I have. Wait a second. Wait a second. I, I have English muffins. <laughs> it's something. I will... I'm going to toast up some English muffins real quick. Or an English muffin. All right, uh, let's go back over here. Keep an eye on that. I think this will work. It'll be something. It'll be better than nothing. I'll just lightly toast English muffin. And we will do that. That would work great. I hope so. Could you serve over noodles? Um, I do not see why not. I, I really don't. I can't think of any reason why you couldn't serve it over noodles. I think it would actually make a, a really interesting noodle dish. All right, I'm going to kill the heat. I think this is just about done. Go back over here. Yeah, that's that's looking good to me. I mean, I, like I said, it's my first time making it, but 
I don't see much wrong with that. So we'll do that. Uh, I've killed the heat already. I am going to go ahead and just sprinkle on a little bit of uh, parsley over the top just to add some color. And this is fresh parsley, so I'm kind of going easy on it because I've heard that uh, fresh spices are stronger than their dry counterparts. And then last but not least, let's, uh, let's get some feta. Oh, this is reduced fat feta cheese. Okay. Not that it matters because I'm not making this for diet food. So let's put some of this feta in there. And, you know, more, more feta, more better. I am a cheeseaholic. Love cheese. Oh, yeah, look at that. that. Oh, I am. You don't even know how excited I am that this is turning out so good. I have got to. I've got to take a picture of this. Because for once, my you know, my dish that I'm making has actually come out looking like it should. I am so excited about this. I am so excited. This is really, this recipe really does come together quite quickly too. So, I mean, it's taking me a little bit, <laughs> mo feta, mo beta, yeah. It's taking me a little bit of time uh, just because I'm kind of walking you guys through it at the same same time. But uh, yeah, this is, this is fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and I am going to serve that up in a bowl. Let's see if I how, see if I can scoop this out. All right, here we go. <laughs> Giving it a shot here. Oh, here, here, something. Uh, the, okay. <laughs> Glad I got a picture of this before I uh, mangled it. I don't think it doesn't look quite as good as uh, as one would hope, but let's go ahead and we'll uh, So here we go. It looks like my egg is probably overcooked. And you know that's fine. it's it's not bad, but. It looks, I am so happy with this, you guys. It smells amazing. I think this is going to taste really good. I really do. I think this is going to just taste amazing. All right. So, got that. Uh, where's my fork? It smells, smells good. All right. Let's check the egg. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, you guys. The egg is actually... Let me... Uh, you've got to see this. This came out so good. Come on, Ken. You can do it. There we go. Look at how perfectly cooked that egg is. It is... Oh, that came out so good. I am excited. Okay. All right, now, actually going to taste it, and we'll see how that... <laughs> it's good. It needs, it does need salt. I had, uh, I had seasoned it a little bit at the beginning, but I could use a little more salt and a little more pepper. 
but it tastes bright, it tastes really fresh. Um, one of the two recipes that I used doesn't call for tomato paste, and one does. So I added in the tomato paste thinking that uh, it would accentuate the flavor a little better, and I, I think I was right. I think it would be really one note if you just use the uh, whole tomatoes. The parsley tastes good. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm Tomatoes are great. Um, another recipe actually asked or asked called for using fire roasted whole tomatoes, and that would be even better. I could not find fire roasted whole tomatoes while I was shopping, so I just used the regular ones. But know that that is also an option for you, fire roasted whole tomatoes. And the feta is completely optional, but I, I'm going to say it adds so much flavor, why would you not put feta cheese on here? The other thing, um, and Cynthia, Cynthia had asked about serving it over noodles. Even better, Cynthia, I think would be rice. If you served it over white rice, that's what this is begging for in my estimation. It's begging for rice. But that's okay, because I did toast up an English muffin. So let's get a little bit of egg on there. And a little bit of the tomato. And of course some feta. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, crusty bread is ideal, but if you don't have crusty bread, you can always try this. So here we go. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Okay, so if you have crusty bread, that's one way to go. I really, I still think that this would be amazing with rice. I think that's uh, the ideal way to eat this. Mm hmm Yep. This is good. This is definitely going in the recipe repeat file that I'm building as I'm trying all these different foods out. But it's absolutely worth it. And it comes together really quick when you're not walking people through it on live internet. But that's it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for being here. It was nice to meet all of you. Um, and I do this show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. And yeah, I, I'm really I'm really excited. Uh, follow me over there on social media. I'm trying to get better about posting what's coming up on each episode in advance on like Instagram and stuff. And uh, yeah, just let me know if there's any dishes that you've heard of you'd like me to try on the show for the first time in front of you guys. And uh, I, I really appreciate you spending your mornings with me. And thank you. Thank you so much. And bye, Sandy. That was nice to see you. I didn't even know you were watching, but bye. <laughs> and and yeah, it was. Uh, this was a lot of fun. So thank you. I hope you're well. I hope you're doing you're, you're doing good. You're you're healthy, mentally and physically. So take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And uh, you know, do the as always. Do the uh, the whole like and subscribe thing on YouTube or wherever you're watching from. And we'll see you all on Friday. Take care, and uh, I'll talk to you then.